is if I was just like, wow, you know, I'm just not feeling real confident with endo. I haven't done a ton of it. Um, I really want to stay safe here. Then you can actually start the process without the rubber dam. Now, as you'll see, I've got the rubber dam ready to go, right? It's ready to go for the second I hit that pulp chamber. But what I can do here in the same way is go ahead and uh, we'll assume it to be about the same depth with the Sharpie line. Okay, and I'm just gonna, just gonna mark that Sharpie a little clearer here. You can see if you spin the burr with the Sharpie in place, you get a much clearer line. So now I've got my Sharpie line, okay, and I can visualize that however we need to, right? Whether you look at it like this, whether you look at it like this, locate where my CDJ is, and now I'm going to be able to come in. So this would be more mimicking the actual endodontic procedure. Now, if I come in here, look at how I have a great perspective of the of the, the angle mesial to distal and buckle to power, right? And that's why I like to line it up like this because I can get a sense, okay, if I envision the head of this burr winding up central at the level of the CBJ, I need to be at some type of angle like this. If I have the angle like this, I'm never going to reach the CBJ. And same thing here. If I have an angle like this, I can envision that I'm going to be through the tooth facially. And if I have an angle too far this way, I can't even see. So look at how good this looks. Now, look at what it looks like with the rubber dam. Now, obviously, it's so important to remember that you want to have, and again, when you put the rubber dam on, you always want to sort of scan and take a look, right? I know this is the canine, this is the lateral, central, right? Here's the other central. So just looking through like this and then applying the rubber dam like so, okay? But now look at what happens with the rubber dam on. I have lost the ability to see the neighboring teeth. However, if I've studied it without the rubber dam first, then once the rubber dam goes on, this picture looks a lot clearer. So what I'm trying to express is that before you start the rubber dam, which is the first thing we learn in dental school, right? Put the rubber dam on. If I even just come to the area, my foot is nowhere near the gas, and I just study it, and I just look at what it should look like, and I see the neighbors, so they help me with the alignment. Then when I put the rubber dam back on, the picture seems a lot clearer.